Well, with as much going on in the world, the one story that's going to impact everyone is the weather. It's going to be hot today through Friday. Each day this after, uh, week is going to be even warmer than the last. By Thursday, we could be in the mid-90s. That's almost 10 degrees above average. And with higher dew points, it means it's really uncomfortable. Now, with the heat and humidity, where it rains or storms, it'll pour on you, but coverage is going to be pretty minimal. Mike Burris says maybe 20% of the area. That pattern is going to change over the weekend. So if you have weekend plans, our daughter is in a swim meet, we think, on Saturday. Those may be disrupted based on what the pattern looks like now Saturday and again on Sunday. We'll continue to refine that forecast throughout this week. Be with us for continuing coverage throughout Jacksonville's morning news. Elon Musk throwing more sand into the gears over his Twitter deal, over the spam and fake bots issue. That's a storyline that developed very early on this morning. We continue to explore the depths of the gasoline surge and the effort by Democrats to take control of the issue in Washington, which ultimately failed on Monday. What ultimately may happen next, not just in Washington, as Republicans are saying drilling is going to be the actual answer to this uh, crisis. We continue to update the war in Ukraine and the effort to get those remaining Ukrainian fighters out of that steel plant in Mariupol as new developments have happened in Lviv and in Mariupol as well. Fox's Matt Finn is on the story for us this morning. And a judge removing the temporary stay that was put in place uh, immediately after a ruling on the congressional district redraw, which impacts uh, Democrat Al Lawson from Northeast Florida, making sense of that ongoing fight that's playing out through the courts. These and other stories updated now on 104.5 FM and always available just a button away in the WOKV app.